Hello everyone, thank you for clicking and welcome back to Planet Zoo. My name is Magikev and here I'm going to show you how I built this mission style staff facilities building as part of my Mission Zoo franchise zoo. Consider it like a walkthrough slash speed build. Um, the idea is to show you what I used and how I used it so you can easily make something similar if you want to. Um, so let's get right into it and I'm going to give you the rundown on the pieces I used for this build. So the pieces I used were the Animal Trade Center, the Workshop, the Small Research Center, a Veterinary Surgery, the Large Staff Room, a Small Quarantine, and then I used the Planet Zoo Square Beams. mud wall pieces, uh, the concrete wall floor, the one meter plaster pillar, the small rusted metal rod, um, the Planet Zoo facility signs and one for each facility used, the Planet Zoo exterior air conditioner and the Planet Zoo exterior outlet, the Australian wall light, terracotta tile roof pieces, and lastly, a transformer. So the mud wall pieces have all of their color slots set to E1D3C0 for that washed out adobe color. And I have doors set to B68F5C, and windows are set to 624D32. And if you want to get the same exact colors that I'm using here, you can just put those uh, those six character codes into the custom color slot. And this building, like I said, is in my mission zoo, which is set on the grounds of an old California mission. So naturally, I wanted the building to have those mission style aspects. And in this build and in that zoo, I'm achieving that specific look by repeating specific elements like the, the terracotta tile roof, mud walls, uh, which would be adobe in real life, um, exposed framing and covered open air walkways that are framed with like uh, lines of arches. Um, and this building fits in perfectly with the Mission Zoo setting, and if you haven't seen that franchise series and you like the look of this building, then go check it out because you'll really love the way that the zoo looks. Now I know this building is super simple, like it's not complicated at all, but that's what I really like about it. Like it's very just utilitarian. And I mean, it's got its own transformer and it has everything but a keeper hut. So it really just kind of acts as its own little hub and you could place it anywhere in the zoo, really. And uh, speaking of you uh, placing the building anywhere, if you want this building, it is on the Steam Workshop. Just look for Magic Head. It would go perfect in your desert or southwest or... Mexican uh, or West Coast zoos and don't worry those patches of ground that are kind of visible through the concrete floor won't happen in your game. It's just uh, sunken down a little too deep in this video and if you have it in your own game you can kind of just like adjust the height with the shift key. Another thing I like about this building is that it's functional. And like, of course it's functional, but uh, <laughs> I was able to put the facilities all together in a compact rectangle, yet every door is still far enough apart so that uh, there's no problems when you try to connect paths to everything. Um, that's what I mean by functional, like it just easily works. Um, and it makes it even easier if you use a four meter grid for the paths. It, it can all just like fit perfectly 
So in my game, I have like a four meter grid of path uh, under all the concrete squares that you see me put in like toward the end of this video. And uh, after I put in, uh, after I fill it in with the grid, like under those squares, I can then just like deselect the grid and then like use the freeform path to just kind of like link it up to each door. And like I said, um, it, it very much just like follows a grid with the whole layout. So there really is no problems as far as connecting paths, which is great because the paths can be a real pain in the butt in this game. And one final thing that I think came out cool or one final point of interest with this building uh, is the facility signs that you'll see me put in. Um, like I like to suspend those signs out from the building because uh, I think it's more interesting sometimes than just having flat signs on the wall, although I do that too. Um, it's very simple like the rest of the build, but I like the way I was able to combine the metal rods with the planet zoo beams to create the signs. Honestly, those those metal rods from the Australian pack are like some of the most useful things. I think the Australian pack honestly has like some of the most useful content and like some of the most universal content. You can use some of that stuff like across many different themes. I think it's great. So yeah, there isn't much more to say about it. It's a really simple building. <laughs> Uh, so I'll let you watch the rest of the building process and I'll be back toward the end um, to show you some in-game footage of the building in action.
Alright, and with the finishing touches done, I'll leave you with some footage of the building in-game. And you can really see how it acts as a hub in that nook that I put it in. Like, all different types of staff are just like in and out, in and out of all of the different facilities that are a part of the building. And it really does like work to reflect sort of like a busy central central building for the staff, which is great. It's exactly what I was going for. So uh, remember, if you want this building, you can find it in the Steam Workshop. You can put it in all of your western, southwestern, desert, whatever themed zoos. And if you like what you see, then like, subscribe, or both for more. And I'll see you later. Bye!